So you just spent all your money on a new camera or an iPhone thinking that finally your videos would look better. Which don't get me wrong, it will, but it's actually the lighting that will make your videos look much, much better. Now with the sheer number of options that you get for lights and their prices, it's quite overwhelming. Especially now, since you have very little to no budget left for lights. But not to worry, even with just one cheap light, you can completely change the look of a scene. But how? This is the Sonya Porta light, which is roughly around 1000 rupees. But don't be fooled by its price. It's powerful enough to replicate sunlight. Now the placement of the light. Basically, where exactly to put the light? It's simple. Just put it 145 degrees to the camera and put the subject in between. The white walls in this scene came in handy, acting as a reflector, giving a subtle fill to the subject. But you can also use a reflector instead. But you won't always be lighting a breakfast scene, right? Instead, you might be lighting a dark room with bullet holes, with kidnappers bringing in people to torture. Basically, a sasta kidnappers dungeon. So in this scene, I put the portal light just behind the window, where I attach cardboards, making bullet holes in them. And with a little haze, you can make the light rays distinct through the bullet holes to really sell the look. Now, how do you light smaller, tighter spaces with just one light, where you don't need that much light intensity and spread? let's say a bathroom. And also you want a moody, dramatic scene where as if the person is having an anxiety episode. There is a light. Well, in this scene, I'm using the existing light that is already present in the bathroom. Making sure the light is just above the person, commonly referred to as overhead lighting. This gives a very dramatic look to the subject, making distinct shadows underneath the eyes and nose. But to make it even more intense, you can put the light just behind the subject, almost silhouetting them. But now, how do you get cinematic video without using any lights? With just a DIY promise filter. More on that in this video. See you on the next one.